let's get TBR rig. <laughs> Every time I try and do an interview to TBR Cluedo, it just ends up being cringe. I should just stop. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to TBR Cluedo. It is time for our September TBR. If you don't know, this is my TBR game inspired by Super Cluedo. We have different rooms, each connect to a genre. A prompt we pick in that room it means I have to read a book of that genre that fits that prompt is essentially the idea. And listen, autumn starting. Personality wise, I'm a summer girl. Like I've always been a summer girl. I love the sun. I get seasonal affective disorder. But content wise and like YouTube wise and reading wise, I'm very excited for autumn. I feel like I'm just really gonna hit my hot girl era. Do you know what I mean? Like I really feel like that. So <laughs> she says wearing this hat. I'm really excited for my TBR in September. I'm really excited for some videos I've got coming up. Life's great. Life's great, you know? <laughs> I definitely have had a moment where I've said to myself, wow. Let's get into the first role. Role number one, whoa. <laughs> Person number seven, which is brown. Let's see how many we roll. A one and a four. I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four and get the rose prompt. So one of my patrons will be picking something I read this month. The first roll was the rose prompt, which means a patron is gonna pick what I read. When you join my patron, whatever tea you are, you get to pick two books off of my physical TBR to put into this jar. And then when it's a rose prompt, I pick one out and that goes on my TBR. By the way, if you ever want to join my patron, the first of the month, AK Today, is the best best time to join if you wanted to join. We've got a movie night this weekend, we've got Final Girls Book Club, I've got a Zoom call with my team Roarers, we have a monthly Zoom call, and reading sprints every week, listen, we do a lot over there. So if you ever wanted to join, now's your time. But now it's the time to pick what I'm gonna be reading. I'm going on holiday for um, a week in September and I haven't planned what I'm reading yet. So this and one other prompt <laughs> that we're gonna see later is probably gonna pick what I take with me on holiday. I'm not gonna do like a specific themed vlog when I go on holiday, but I am gonna take books and read and vlog it. So let's see and then we'll see who chose this book. I'm gonna reach in deep and get one. Okay. Ah! I don't like it. I get so nervous. Okay, focus on my hands. Okay, let's see what it is. What is that? No filter and other lies. Oh my God. Okay, that's a great holiday one. Let's see who picked that first. Okay, Jordan, Jordan picked it. Did anyone else pick it or is it just Jordan? No, just Jordan. Okay, oh my God, this is such a good holiday one. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. Check out the bless me. <laughs> okay, so this is No Filter and Other Lies by Crystal Maldonado. I am so happy I'm gonna be reading this because I've been thinking like, when am I gonna get to this? Like a YA contemporary romance on holiday. Mmm, I taste the flavor, yeah. <laughs> so Crystal Maldonado wrote Fat Chance Charlie Vega, which I would say is my favorite YA contemporary romance I've ever read that wasn't like Heartstopper or a graphic novel or something. By the way, how cute are these covers? Gorge. This one sounds really interesting though. It's about our main character who is like an influencer on Instagram, but it's all fake. They're like catfishing. And it's about them. I think the story is gonna be about them kind of seeking validation through this when, and, and then it's gonna be about them accepting themselves. Oh yeah, and I think she starts texting someone and they start falling in love, but then they get outed as a catfish. I just wanna know, I just really loved her writing last time. So I am so happy that this is what ended up being picked. I would either want this or like a thriller or something on holiday. We'll see what the other book ends up being that we're gonna have to read. Yeah, this feels like a great pick. I'm very, very excited. I can just imagine myself on the beach loving this and reading this. So, oh, great pick, Jordan. Next. We have person number six, which is yellow. Let's see how many we roll. Whoa. <laughs> we have a one and a one. Um, I can I can do that, I can do that. So let's just go one, two, which is number 28, which is a book you've never seen on booktube. Roll two was a thriller that I have never seen on booktube. And this one, it's like technically correct. <laughs> The rules don't apply. I've picked The Neighbor's Secret by L. S. and Hella. Now I did see people haul this when they maybe got book of the month or anything. This was a book a month in September last year. It's like a year ago, oh my God, it's embarrassing. Um, 
We all know I'm very good at reading books when they come out. But I didn't see anyone review it. I don't know what anyone's thought of it. So I'm picking it for this. I feel like it fits. I don't know much about this other than it's very Big Little Lies, which if you watched my wrap up recently, um, it was my book club pick a couple months ago and I loved it. I gave it five stars. I was absolutely obsessed. I ate it up. Like I loved that drama. So I'm very excited to read this this month. I think it's going to be like a fun, quick thriller. There's a book club, but a late night act of vandalism target the woman of the book club in increasingly violent and personal ways. Someone's family died in a tragic accident. Oh, it just sounds so exciting. I've been looking for more books that make me feel like Big Little Lies made me feel Feel, and I'm very very excited. I just love women being like, you know, like I love mums. <laughs> there's so much untapped potential in reading about mums like in suburbia that is just like so juicy to me. Oh the flavors are bursting on my tongue. <laughs> Roll number three which is pink which is number four Let's see how many we roll. A one or a six? <laughs> how can I get one of the two non-fictions? Because I can't really go that far. I don't think I'll be able to get to many if I use a staircase because it takes an extra roll. I have to go like one, two, three before I even move. So we need to get one of these non-fictions. So how can we <laughs> how can we make this work? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> well done me. Number eleven which is, I don't know, <laughs> let me find it. Um, an ebook or an audiobook? Okay, that's good, that's good for non-fiction. Next role was a non-fiction that's an ebook or an audiobook, and I had a few that I wanted to pick for this. Actually, let's mention the two that I wanna read this month. Both are audiobooks, the first, <laughs> The first is Wildflower by Drew Barrymore. Okay, listen. When I have read memoirs by strong women, I always give them five stars, right? Jeanette McCurdy's, I just read and gave five stars. Mariah Carey's, one of the best audiobooks ever. Like, if you have a slight interest in Mariah Carey, go listen to her memoir, but get the audiobook. She, like, sings in it. She'll just burst out into song. I'm like, Becoming by Michelle Obama. I seem to do, I do love celebrity female memoirs. So when there was that meme like a month ago, not meme, but video of Drew Barrymore like laughing in the rain, <laughs> I just thought to myself, this is the energy I need in my life. And I've always had a special connection to Drew Barrymore because Ever After is one of my favorite films of my childhood. I would watch it like on repeat around my nans. So I have like a special love for her. And you know, she's been through a lot. When you think of what her childhood was like, she's been through a lot. So I really want to read her memoir. So I got that on Audible. But I also have the audiobook for Feminism for the 99%. That's the audiobook for this one, Scribd. And I just feel like I have not been reading enough, like, feminist non-fiction, like, feminist theory that I, I used to. I used to read a lot of it. So I would also really like to just get to this if I can at some point as well. So I have two picks for this, technically. And I would like to get to both of them if I can, because the audiobook for this is only, like, an hour long. But I'd really like to sit down and just, like consume feminist thought at some point if I can. Rule number four, person number eight, which is blue over here in contemporary. Let's see how, oh shoot. <laughs> Let's see how many we roll. We have a five and a three. Let's just go one, two, three and get the glasses, which means um, I scroll on Instagram until I see a book that I own. Right, roll four, I'm a bit nervous about, a little bit nervous. <laughs> I don't want to be perceived. Okay, so this is the role that's going to pick the other book I read on holiday. We're going to go on my Instagram and we're going to scroll until we see a book that I A, own, I have to own it physically, and two, it can't be planned for any other videos. So I often have a lot of vlogs planned for the rest of the year. There's some books that I'm reserving for those videos. So I hold the right to reserve <laughs> some books. Uh, I'm apprehensive, nervous, bit scared, also weirdly calm perhaps on the verge of hysteria. It might take us a while. I follow a lot of random stuff. Exhibit A, football. Rare beauty? No. Okay. Also, Instagram is just loads of stuff I don't even follow. Like, I don't even follow any of these people. What is going on? And it's all reels, excuse me. Gemma Owen, I don't follow you. Like, what is happening? Oh, okay, I don't own Wolf Song. Maddie almost got me, but I don't own Wolf Song. Hang on, I'm gonna change, let's do it to following. Let's do my feed following. Oh, RF Quang. But Babel, A, I, I pre-ordered it, but my pre-order has not arrived yet. And I'm reserving that for another video. <laughs> so we're not reading that. Oh, uh, Babel's on there. Marple's on there, but I don't own that yet. And it doesn't come out for like half the month. So I'm not going to pick that. 
because by the time I go on holiday, it won't be out yet. This is like homophobic, guys. Someone give me a book. <laughs> Someone give me a book that I own. This is crazy. Oh, okay, gay is the word. Can I see anything in Tasman's reel that I own? I can't see anything. I'm like really trying to, trying to focus here. Like I'm really like... <laughs> Pages, no, I don't own that. Don't own that, don't own that. I know Tasman loves this. <laughs> um, don't own that. Don't own that. Almost bought that the other day, but don't own it. Nope. Or I yet to have anything. I don't own Stay Awake. I can't see anything there that I own. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Right, you didn't see, you haven't seen the video yet why I bought this, but I bought it the other day, you'll see it this weekend, but I do own Carrie Soto's back and we're gonna read this on holiday. Do I wanna, I guess I'm doing that. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so good, oh my God. So watch my, uh, watch my holiday vlog if you wanna see what I'm gonna read. This is the perfect holiday book though, let's be honest. Oh yeah, Oh. Mm. Mm. So if you know me, you'll know Tay Jenkins Reid is one of my all-star, all-star favorite authors where I've read three books from her, they've all been five stars. This, I actually last night on my reading experience with my patrons, I read the first chapter of this and I loved it. So I'm just feeling good. This is Carrie Soto is back. We're following Carrie Soto, who is an ex-tennis player. We saw her in Malibu Rising. She played quite a big role in Malibu Rising. I think this takes place about 10 years later in the 90, 1994. Basically, another tennis player matches her record for like big titles. What's the right word? I don't know. Yeah, her record has been broken or like drawn by this other tennis player. And she's like, I'm gonna come out of retirement. I'm gonna beat this bitch. <laughs> So that's what the book is about. And I think she goes to play this girl and try to beat her to like show everyone she's that bitch, she's the queen. Now I'm very intrigued to see how this book works because Kari Soto was not likable in the first book. Like she wasn't, mm, in Alibi Rising, mm, mm, I didn't like her. But I could see, I could see how I could end up liking her. But this is pretty momentous. God, holiday, I'm gonna be living my best life reading Kari Soto. Wow, I love my life. <laughs> I love my family, I love my work, I love my life. It's a five star prediction. I think I'm gonna love it. I should love it. It's Carrie Soto, it's Taylor Jenkins Reid. I loved the first chapter that I read. Like the way that Taylor Jenkins Reid writes just gets me. And I can just imagine myself at the airport reading this book. Like, oh my God, the fantasy. Are we excited? Cause we should be. <laughs> Roll number five, person number four, which is pink. I need to read a lot of fantasy this month and I haven't gotten any yet. <laughs> Let's see how many we roll. Okay, we've got a five and a two. So when you're a staircase, we can go one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Number 18, which is, oh, I don't think we've had this before. A book an audience member didn't like on all my unread books video. So roll five is a super fun one. I don't think I've ever got this before somehow, but it is a fantasy and it has to be a book that a subscriber said they hated on my all my unread books video. So once a year I do this video and I get people to comment what they loved and what they hated and we need to go to the comments of that video and find a book they hated. Now I actually picked this to be the book club pick. So let's cut back to me the other day finding the four choices that they're gonna have to vote on. Okay, it's late in the evening, so <laughs> and my, you're right by my laptop, which is exporting noisily, <laughs> so apologies. But this is the one I decided to get my patrons to vote on, which is very exciting. <laughs> So I'm gonna just screen record my laptop and we're gonna keep randomly selecting comments from that All My Unread Books video until we get four fancy books that people hated, <laughs> is the idea. So start raffle and pick random winner, start. A lot of them are just gonna be people saying they, oh, hate it, Cersei. Cersei I would say is a fantasy. So that's our first one. <laughs> yeah, I feel like most people are gonna be saying they love books. Oh, we've got loved it for Cersei there. <laughs> Hate it, the cruel prince. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hated it, uprooted in the bone season. Should we pick both of those? I guess. <laughs> so there are four picks. 
Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's see what they vote on. Okay. So all these books are books that someone hated, but we're going to read them for the book club, which bodes well because we like very, very rarely enjoy all the books we read. <laughs> so the options that I gave them were Uprooted by Naomi Novik, The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, and Cersei by Madeline Miller. This is one of the oldest books on my TBR. And it was very close between The Bone Season and Cersei, but Cersei ended up winning. I'm really excited. I think this is going to be a great book for us to read together. Like I said, it's one of the oldest books that I've owned for the longest and not read. And I've never read anything from Madeline Miller. I have not read Song of Achilles or this. So yes, I'm very excited. All I know is that it's about a, the Greek goddess Circe and it's kind of like a retelling of the myths surrounding Cersei and I just feel like this is the perfect book for us to like transition into autumn with like September you know it starts becoming autumnal and I just think this is the perfect book to get that vibe going so I'm so excited to see what we all think of this if you want to join us you can come join the patron we have discussions on the discord we have a live show for it and I do an exclusive reading vlog for it over there so yeah no I'm really really excited I've heard so many great things about it and I'm very excited to see what I think of Madeline Miller myself and I feel like it takes me back to like my early days of doing booktube and this was one of the books I was supposed to read and then I never read it. <laughs> Person number one which is green oh my god thank god <laughs> I was gonna have to use a staircase again otherwise let's see how many we roll we've got a one and a six let's just go one to get number six, which is something with white on the cover. And then our final roll was another fantasy with white on the cover, and for this, yeah, I'm reading The Burning God by Love Quang. To say you suffer would be lovely, darling. I'm currently reading The Dragon Republic. I'm about 80 pages into it, and then I'm gonna read The Burning God, like pretty much straight after. Am I nervous? Yes. Am I excited? Not really. Do I feel sick? Absolutely. Like, it's, <laughs> the vibes aren't good for me. Honestly, I'm very nervous. <laughs> But I'm also excited. It's taken me those 80 pages of the Dragon Republic to like get into it, but now I feel like I'm into it and I'm very excited to read more today. I am gonna try and read Final Girls. I'm gonna try and read Dragon Republic quick enough. Our live show for Final Girls, which is um, August's, August's book club pick. Um, I'm gonna try and read Dragon Republic quick enough to read Final Girls in between that and The Burning God to give myself a bit of a break. <laughs> because I feel like I need it. So that's the goal. I need to get a lot of reading done today if that's gonna happen. But yeah, then I'm gonna finish off the series. And then I feel like it puts me in a good position to maybe read Babel in October. I would love to read Babel in October. So that's the plan. So this is our TBR for September plus uh, Wildflower by Drew Barrymore, either that or Feminism for the 99%, one of those. I'm so excited. Firstly, the holiday books, I'm so happy with what's come up. They're like the perfect books to read on holiday. Um, I'm excited to read The Neighbours Secret, excited to read Cersei, excited, I'm just like, wow, reading is the best thing in the world, guys. Aren't we just so lucky to live in a world where books exist? <laughs> So please let me know what you thought of any of these books down below. I would love to know. Please let me know what you thought of any of them. If you got into the end, comment the like brown falling leaves emoji. Cause I'm just like, I'm so excited for autumn. I'm so excited for the videos I'm gonna make. You guys, we're living our best lives. <laughs> make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, comment, everything like that always helps me out. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.